Welcome back to the Rare Book Views channel. Today I am going to go to a used book sale. There's a local sale and they hold it pretty regularly. They hold it every couple months and it's impressively large. It's in a warehouse. I think they say they have about 60,000 books every time, which must mean that this community is really generous by donating their books. It's for a good cause and the prices are amazing. And since I'm frugal, I really love this sale. Hardbacks are $3, paperbacks are $2, children's books are one whole buck. And since I collect rare children's books, it's one of my favorite places to go. So I'm very excited. I really go early. Um, they've changed their system. They used to hold this sale on Saturday, and then on Friday they would let book book dealers go and they charge $50 for the privilege of getting in there a day early. It is a lot of books and they have really great things so I think it probably is worth it and I've actually done it um, but I found that it's kind of hard to justify so I don't do it very often. And today they changed it so that they are having dealers Friday morning and then open the public in the afternoon. So when I'm finished with work, I can go down there and hopefully get in line. I do go early and get in line so I can get in the front and hopefully get to the books first and get my little paws on them before anyone else. So I'm excited and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, as you can see, they have a ton of books at that sale, and the volunteers are really good about keeping everything in great order, but because the dealers have been through there like locusts, there are some shelves that are uh, a little bit not full. But I did find some cool stuff, and I had a great time. There were some interesting people about. There was one gentleman on the phone loudly discussing with his family what books they wanted him to find, and then also loudly asking for help with them. And he did find some of his books, so it was a good day for everybody. I always try to look for the books that I want just to read, because $3 for a hardback, buy them all. Uh, I look for the books that I'm collecting. I, I don't have a ton of room, as you can see, so it is a high bar. And then I look for books for my friends. I have a list of requests for people who don't have time to go to the book sale. And then I am also buying things that I know have a slightly higher value and I sell them on eBay and then that's how I afford the vast collection. <laughs> Otherwise, this would be an extremely expensive hobby. So I found some cool things. I found a book, what 
can join this author. She wrote The Woman in Cabin 10 and In the Dark, Dark Wood. I think I'm getting that right. These are suspense. I enjoy a good mystery and a good on the edge of your seat suspense story and she is amazing. So I'm hoping this is as good as the other ones. If you haven't read, I think The Woman in Cabin 10 is fantastic. It's a very different setting. She does a really good job. It's well told. The characters are a little interesting. So I'm hoping this one lives up to that. And this was $3, because I that. I found, these are for a friend of mine, her son. Hey there, buddy. Uh, enjoys these. If you know anybody in this age range, I think these are really cool because they are um, from the point of view of a youngster surviving one of these historic events and then there's a little bit of nonfiction in the back about the history. So I think that's really cool. These were a dollar each. Fantastic. And then I found some cool finds. This is a Alfred Hitchcock and the Three Investigators. I didn't read these, but people, I think my age group was the one that these were aimed at. The, this is an interesting one. Alfred Hitchcock did not write these. These are written by a few authors. There are a couple different names that I've seen, and I wonder if these are real people or if it's Carolyn King of, um, Carolyn Keen of Nancy Drew fame, who is not a real person. It was a staff of writers, and I actually don't know for these. They are collectible because these are random house, but kind of a strange format. The glue doesn't hold up well, or the end papers, this, this piece that is usually one piece and pasted in, this frequently cracks. This one's in really nice condition. People collect these. This is, talk, this is number 11 in this series. I can never remember how many there are, but the first one through four were way more common. This is the matte finish. This is the one that was marketed retail. There's a glossy finish that were largely um, purchased by libraries. So if you ever find those, those are super collectible. And these ones too, especially if you can get a bunch of them and sell them at one time, that is fantastic. I love that people collect things that they, I, that they liked when they were a kid. That's what I do. So I'm happy to feed that habit. This is kind of neat. This is the UK edition of one of the Harry Potters. I have the UK editions and the US editions and, and a few others. But th I think these are really fun because this book was originally published in the UK. So this is the UK spelling. And then they published them for Americans and cleaned them up. Even the first one, the title they had to change. I think they thought Americans were not smart enough to get the reference, which could be true. But these are really fun. And if, you can, if I can get all seven, especially at Christmas season, these are very sought after. And if you have anybody in your life who loves Harry Potter, they probably already have the books, but they might not have the UK one. So this is a great gift if you run across it. I got one of the old school classic Winnie the Poohs. I always pick these up. I feel like I've been finding them constantly lately, and I have not completed any of the four sets of the same year, but I can't stop buying them. This is cool, The Little Prince. This is a fun book that a lot of people like to give as a gift. If you are looking for a baby gift or a first, second birthday, especially for a little boy, this is a fantastic present, and the vintage ones are pretty sought after. It's a very weird publishing story. They published it, it's a French author published in New York, and then they published the version in French and sold it in France, but this is the US, the US edition was first. Interesting. So that's cool. And this is kind of fun. This is a Heritage Press edition of a book about the Oregon Trail, which for many reasons <laughs> is of interest to me. And I really have to say, if you haven't played the um, computer game, get on that, you're missing out. This is Heritage Press. They published, similar to Book of the Month, this was a subscription service. I don't think they're still publishing. They are pretty affordable now, and some of the editions have fantastic illustrators. The War and Peace edition in two volumes, the notes are wide renowned. They're really well done. So this is kind of cool. The cover art is sometimes really good. The illustrators are really good. And they came with this periodical that gives you a little bit of history of the book and the particular edition. These are really cool. I'm probably not gonna keep this one, but uh, it will find a new home via eBay. So I had a bunch of things on this trip that are gonna hopefully fund my 
rock and roll lifestyle in terms of my library and not in so many things to read, but I did find some things for other people. I did find a couple of things that are going on the present shelf, so I can't show you those. So it was a really successful trip. Prices were great and I had a ton of fun. If you have a book sale in your neighborhood, please go check it out. It's so great to support a charity and then also be reuse and recycle. Just find a new home for things when you're when you don't need them anymore. And I hope that you enjoyed this. If you enjoy the book shopping recaps, please drop me a comment and let me know and subscribe if you're interested. And I will try to keep it up because I love going to these events and it's really fun to share them. So thank you for watching and happy reading.